Like many school districts in North Carolina and across the country, Richmond County Schools is dealing with a shortage of bus drivers. Richmond Senior High School Principal Jim Butler posted about a shortage on the school's Facebook page several weeks ago after sending out a message about possible delays on the following day. RCS Transportation Director Debbie Blake said there are at least 25 bus driver positions that need filling to get back to pre-COVID staffing levels. Dr. Julian Carter, the Associate Superintendent for Human Resources for RCS, said there were 65 drivers for 89 buses as of January 19th. Carter said the shortage actually started prior to the COVID pandemic. However, since the pandemic, Carter said more drivers have left. What started the exodus, according to Carter, were more stringent regulations from the NC Department of Transportation, including being able to jump off the back of a bus. Carter added that the core group of about 80 drivers are very dedicated to the district and the students. He said some are running two to three routes a day and filling in where needed. For those interested in driving a bus, the next class will be held on February 15th through the 18th. Instruction will run from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the RCS Maintenance Building on 102 6th Street, Safi in East Rockingham. Potential drivers must be at least 18 years old and have been driving for at least six months. They will also have to fill out an application under the Human Resources tab on the district's website. A background check is required and applicants must register in the Clearinghouse database. A weekend traffic stop led to drug and weapon charges for a convicted felon. According to a press release issued Monday, deputies with the Richmond County Sheriff's Office were patrolling East Rockham on Saturday when they conducted a vehicle stop on 2nd Street Safi. The driver, 44-year-old Brian Edward Taylor, reportedly admitted to deputies that he didn't have a driver's license and that the tag was registered to another vehicle. Deputies reportedly noticed a shotgun in the back seat and Taylor reportedly told them he was a convicted felon. According to the release, deputies searched the vehicle and found ammunition, marijuana, and a glass pipe. Taylor was arrested and charged with possession of a firearm by a felon and other possession charges. He was booked into Rich County Jail under an $11,000 secure bond. Taylor is scheduled to appear in court on February 17th. A man suspected in a Saturday shooting has been charged with murder. Richmond County Jail records show that 23-year-old Thomas Owen White is facing an open count of murder and is currently being held without bond. He was booked into Richmond County Jail at 5.18 p.m. White is accused of shooting and killing 18-year-old Julius Tyrone Leak of Rockingham in a gravel parking lot on Church Street in East Rockingham. Leak was taken to the emergency room following the shooting and once investigators learned where the shooting occurred, the Richmond County Sheriff's Office took over the investigation. Prior information released by the Sheriff's Office on Sunday did not indicate that Leak had died. The Sheriff's Office first asked for help Sunday afternoon in locating White and announced just after 4.30 that he had been taken into custody without incident. Sheriff Mark Gulledge issued a statement thanking the residents of Richmond County for providing information on White's location. Jail records show White is scheduled to appear in court on February 17th. Police are asking for help identifying a man accused of stealing hundreds of dollars in items from a tobacco store. The Hamlet Police Department posted to his Facebook page on Sunday a photo from surveillance video of a suspect. According to the post, the man allegedly stole $500 worth of merchandise from the tobacco store near the Hamlet food line. Anyone who might be able to identify the man is encouraged to contact the department at 910-582-2551. Extending its winning streak to nine straight games, the Lady Raider basketball team earned at least a share of the conference regular season title on Friday. That celebration comes for the first time since the 2010-2011 season as Richmond kept its perfect conference record intact with a 71-47 victory over Lee County. A total of seven Lady Raiders found the basket in the victory led by freshman point guard Jamia Lindsay. She finished with a game-high 29 points knocking down 15 in the first half. Senior senior Jamia Ratliff also reached double digits with 19 points, collecting most in the first two periods. Richmond will host Lee County on Wednesday, then conclude the regular season with senior night on Friday against Scotland. A win over the Lady Yellow Jackets would secure the outright SAC championship. Both games will get started at 6 p.m. In a meeting between the first and last place teams in the conference on Friday, the Richmond Rare Boys basketball team kept its hopes for a conference title alive. 
capping a perfect three-game week and extending its winning streak to four straight games, Richmond stung Lee County 84-59. A week after netting a dozen three-pointers as a team, the Raiders set a new season high with 14 triples against the Yellow Jackets. Richmond knocked down nine in the first half and added the other five in the final two periods. Sophomore shooting guard Paul McNeil had six of those triples and finished with a double-double, team highs with 29 points and 13 rebounds. The Raiders will eye their 20th win of the season when they host Lee County on Wednesday. That will be followed by senior night against Scotland on Friday to close the regular season. Richmond and Pinecrest are currently tied for first place in the SAC standings. Play will begin at 7.30 p.m. against Yellow Jackets and Fighting Scots. When we return, we got your live five weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to your live at Five Weather Report, Russian County. Hope your weekend was well. And hey, it wasn't too bad of a weekend. A little bit cold out there, but overall not terrible. Uh, we did get some rain late last night, and it kind of fell through into the day as well. We're still seeing a little bit kind of coming down, uh, but it should stop here later this evening within the next hour or so. Six o'clock, forty-two degrees. Ten o'clock, thirty-nine. With some clouds out. We'll have a sunset at five fifty-three p.m. And a waxing crescent moon phase will be out tonight as well. Now, looking at tomorrow with the uh, Sand Hills weather map, we'll have plenty of party cloud weather for the entire area. We've got some cold temperatures mixed in with a little bit of warmer temperatures, about mid-50s for the high. Uh, Cumberland County, a high of 52, low of 29. Hope County, a high of 53 and a low of 29. Over in Robeson County, a high of 53 and a low of 30, with Scotland County seeing a high of 54 and a low of 31. Up in Moore County, a high of 52, low of 27. Here in Richmond County, a high of 54, low of 27. Across the PD in Anson County, we'll be seeing a high of 54 and a low of 27. And down in Marlboro County, South Carolina, a high of 54 and a low of 29. Now looking at the seven day forecast, uh, we got some really warm temperatures coming up later on this week. Um, before we get to that, we also got some cold temperatures coming along as well. So it's got a lot of mixture of cold weather and some hot weather, or really warm weather, I should say. Uh, coming up. But Tuesday, a high of 54, a low of 27. Wednesday, a high of 62, and a low of 33. With sunny skies, that will carry through Friday. With Thursday, seeing a high of 65, and a low of 31. Friday, one of the warmer days here, a high of 65, low of 39. Even warmer on Saturday with party cloudy skies, a high of 69, and a low of 42. And then on Sunday, sunny skies, a high of 53, low of 25. With Monday, seeing a high of 53 and a low of 29. Now, as far as the sky is concerned, pretty, um, pretty, uh, nothing is really going on. A, lot, a couple of party cloudy sky days. A lot of stuff will be plenty of sunshine, however. So no rain chance, no percentages of that moving forward since today. Uh, so the, today is the last day you're going to wear your rain jacket, but some days you're still going to need to be wearing your winter jacket. And that's going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report and for some action edition of Live at 5. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.